Hello and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. I'm here to do the Scorpio December 2020 love reading. How are you guys doing? I hope you're really well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to everyone who's viewed my videos so far and if you're returning you're amazing and if you're new to the channel you're so welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. So Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus in Scorpio, or you might also be connecting with a Scorpio. So I'm going to start by getting some general messages for you and then we'll go into the main spread. So Scorpio, without further hesitation, let me get some general messages please. For what Scorpio might be dealing with in love, thank you come out, just wanted to hide in the deck. <laughs> Let's get a couple more for you, Scorpio. The Scorpio, please. What is Scorpio dealing with in love for December 2020? Thank you. Can get one more, please. For Scorpio. Scorpio. One more, please. There we go. Okay. see what we've got. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So the first card that kind of popped out, but then stayed hidden in the deck a little bit was the Seven of Swords. So this is a card of um, deception and trying to get away with something, trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes, being quite sneaky. Um, yeah. So let's see what's going on there. You could be dealing with someone who has lied to you or you could be hiding from something from someone else. It can also be about, sometimes it's about self-sabotage. Um, but in this one, it's specifically, it's more about like a trickster kind of energy. So not being completely honest it can be to yourself. You, can't, you could be um, deceiving yourself about a situation or somebody else. So next card we have is the sun. So this is a gorgeous energy. This is very successful, um, positive, happy, uh, and abundant energy. This can be called the best energy in the deck. But this particular sun, to me, talks about um, individual success in particular. It's someone who is uh, even going off on their own path. I'm getting the first time actually looking at this card. Um, and being very successful in doing so, but also it's kind of like this, it's the sun god Ra here. So it's someone um, very enigmatic that some, you know, that gets almost a lot of attention, is looked up to, is revered, um, and maybe even enjoys that kind of attention I'm getting with this sun card, but is luminous, is kind of um, really draws people in by their um, energy. And then lastly, we have the Nine of Wands. Now, this particular one, obviously Nine of Wands can be about being guarded or having your guard up. And, but this is also about someone pushing, pushing somebody away by having their defences up, by putting that wall up intentionally, not wanting them to come closer. Uh, so kind of putting these like red flags up or, you know, trying to scare somebody off basically because they don't want them to get to know them better. They're scared about someone getting breaching their defenses um so it's someone who is has it as like a defense mechanism is what i'm trying to say now at the bottom of the deck we have the hanged man so this is um something it's kind of like left in limbo it's on a pause there's uh can be no action or just something that's like incomplete um or unfinished and and also can be about not communicating taking a time out to think um, maybe even see things from someone else's perspective, but I just get a sense of um, inaction, like a stagnancy here as well. Um, so let's see what's going on. Behind that we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is uh, very much about reflecting on what has been invested so far and trying to decide, do we keep investing at this point? Um, is there any point in continuing to invest? Are we getting like a fair return uh, on my investment kind of thing? Um, or is it, do we call it a day at this point? Do we like basically um, incinerate, you know, just let everything that we built so far, what we invested, just let it burn to ash to begin again. 
All right, and then we have the Page of Pentacles here. So like an offer coming in, um, an offer being made um, in quite a, a cold, emotionally cold environment, but a little offer to try and bring some sort of warmth can also be a gift. So you could be in a situation here, I'm seeing where something is um, is maybe left in limbo and with no, if you can't see where this something is going at the moment. So you might be wondering, well, what am I supposed to do? Do I just give up at this point? Forget it. Uh, or do I continue to put effort into this? Now, okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So let's see. Yeah, there is, um, you may feel that there is the potential with a person that you're dealing with for long term, for family, um, for growing old together even, and a lot of abundance and success. But with the Five of Pentacles connected to it, someone feels left out in the cold or or ignored or kind of maybe possibly being ghosted or yeah just being given the silent treatment i'm getting with this hanged man as well uh, there's definitely issues with communication and someone feels quite isolated um now this could be this person who has kind of got their walls up pushing somebody away that could be you or the person you're dealing with but let's see i'm just gonna get straight away some oh, the knight of cups just wanted to flip but i'm just going to get some clarification and some more extra messages for you which i'm doing this month see how it goes so we get some more clarification please what's happening for scorpio in love in december 2020 just going to give me some more clarification of what they're dealing with in love for scorpio please Some more messages for Scorpio. Thank you. Let me get a couple more, please. Okay, thank you. And one more, please. For Scorpio. One more. okay or two <laughs> all right so what have we got here <laughs> all right so interestingly we have this temperance this card of Sagittarius and this is a card of um, needing patience uh, or you've already had a lot of patience in this situation you've been waiting there it can be about reconciliation sometimes um, but also about the need to become balanced emotionally um, it can be, a, a, well, I was going to say alchemy is a sense of, you know, creating, creating something um, like almost like a magician kind of vibe. Uh, but I'm getting more a sense here of the need for peace, maybe even just a peaceful resolution, I just heard, uh, maybe to a situation that has become slightly draining, perhaps. So next we have the Queen of Swords, which is uh, air energy. So Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Now, you, this could be who you're dealing with or it could be your energy at the moment, Scorpio. This Queen of Swords is kind of resigned to the fact that of, of some sort of loss. Um, she's experienced, um, she's, she's very wise. She's experienced a lot in her life, uh, maybe about previous heartache. She is aware of... Um, the truth of the matter. She's very uh, insightful. She's not really communicating this. You know, some Queen of Swords, they can be very like, I will, I'm going to cut your head off with words I have to say. This woman is more like, she's not really communicating as such. She's, she is keeping quiet, but she's more like, it's more like a sorrowful, um, quiet understanding that maybe something isn't working or something's come to an end. It's a, a kind of a cold um, energy from being hurt. Now with the King of Cups here, this is water, so this could water energy. It could be you, Scorpio, or it could be Pisces, Cancer, or just irrelevant with the signs. But th the main thing here is that this is a very um, charismatic, uh, can be emotionally mature character. Um, he loves deeply this particular King of Cups. I always get the impression that he's he's gives a sense that he's in tune. You know spiritually he's uh open-minded he, he likes yoga <laughs> i don't know why that just popped into my head um but 
he's very smooth. Uh, he's very, uh, again, I'm getting a sense of uh, someone extremely attractive that kind of draws people in and is enigmatic in their energy. But I find it interesting that these two characters are, he's looking away from this Queen of Swords. I don't feel like it's two people necessarily on the same page or completely um, connecting. I almost feel like he's ignoring this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Swords feels quite dejected and um, has lost hope in the way she's looking down as well. Now the final card is the Nine of Cups. So this can be a card of wish fulfillment, but it's also a sense of self-satisfaction, feeling a little smug, having all um, of these cups here, not really sharing them, just, um, yeah, a sense of self-satisfaction. Now, we also have the Knight of Swords, so there could be communication coming in, or it could be that you have things that you want to get off your chest to say to this person, or that they want to say to you. I don't know about that. I'm not getting that so much yet. But let's go into your spread now, Scorpio, and we'll see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these ones out so I can just bear them in mind. Whilst we're doing the spread, I'm going to put those two together. All right, lovely. So let's go into the spread. I just noticed with that King of Cups, actually, whilst the Queen is resting on her, her hand on his sword, He's arresting his hand on like a staff. It's almost like a kind of combination of the King of Wands and King of Cups kind of energy. That's just interesting. I, yeah, I feel like someone very charismatic, charming, smooth talker. Okay, let's go into your main spread. So let's do spread for Scorpio please. So this is, I'm going to be asking questions that relates to relationship between you and a certain person. It's basically the person that you're here for where, or you're thinking of when you're watching this video. So with the top 10 cards please for Scorpio. Oh, for what they're dealing with in love. In December 2020. And cards for Scorpio, please. Okay. How you feel about your person, Scorpio? The Empress. Wow. And how they feel about you? The Moon. Interesting. How they see you? The Tower. Good grief. What happened in the past between the two of you, Scorpio? Eight of Wands. Okay. And what is the current mutual energy? The five of wands, okay. What are their intentions towards you at this time? The two of wands, a lot of passion so far. What is it about their current situation that you need to know, Scorpio? The devil, mm-hmm. What action are they most likely gonna to take towards you next? Nine of cups, again, but a very different vibe with this nine of cups, that's interesting. What is your advice regarding this personal situation, Scorpio? The Seven of Swords, again. And what's going to be happening between the two of you this month? The Seven of Wands, okay. Bottom of this deck, we have the Hermit. So this is a card of Virgo. It's the card of someone needing to do some soul searching, um, kind of maybe even going into nature, kind of getting away from the daily grind I just heard. Uh, needing to connect uh, with uh, themselves and find answers within, uh, find like a knowledge, um, higher learning even, or just some maybe spiritual awareness. Um, so let's see. Okay, so behind that we have the Two of Cups. Now this is speaking about a very strong soul connection, a soul tie. You could feel very connected to your person or just very much in love with them and uh, that's why it's you know whatever is happening right now i feel like is causing you some grief um but there is a lot of love here for sure and a very strong connection uh, let's see and uh, behind that we have the king of pentacles so you could be dealing with an earth sign it's capricorn virgo or taurus not necessarily but this is um a very reliable and dependent king he's one who um 
basically lays down roots. He um, has a family. He's very abundant, very like can is good with his money. Um, he can be quite slow moving, but he's dependable and uh, loyal. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So, wow. Okay, and I have to say behind that, we have the Ten of Swords as well. So Ace of Swords is a realization of something. It's gaining clarity. It can be about knowing the answer, you know, realizing this answer to some sort of problem, like realizing a solution, a new way of handling a problem, and also just becoming very clear and that like ushering in like a new beginning, a more honest beginning for you. Um, so with the Ten of Swords, this is a very painful ending, but it's a betrayal as well. It's someone that you trusted or um, believes that you could trust, really stabbing you in the back very painfully. It's it's uh, not just a painful ending, but it's shocking and it really hurts. It makes you question you know, whether you knew this person at all. So let's see, you could have already experienced this kind of ending and maybe you've been doing a lot of soul searching as a result. Uh, um, let's see, I want to go straight into getting your next layer. But I want to say you could also be dealing with a fire sign from what I can see laid out here. All I can see is blues and reds, basically. Um, and that obviously Take it, or, take it if this resonates or leave it. So, but you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We'll see. Not necessarily. Oh. I'm just getting the sense of a lot of passion and a lot of emotion. Let's see. Can you clarify, please, with the top 10 cards for Scorpio? Please clarify what's already laid out. Top 10 cards for Scorpio. All right. So, how do you feel about... Well, okay. It's a bit of judgment. Clarifying how you feel about them. How they feel about you. The uh, This is actually the Hierophant um, for how they feel about you. So that's interesting. How they see you. Hey, yeah, grief. Ten of Cups. What happened in the past? The King of Cups, there he is again. And what is the current mutual energy? Strength. What are their intentions towards you at this time, Scorpio? The Six of Swords. Wow, that is very interesting on top of the Two of Wands. Um, now, what is it about their current situation that you need to know? The Hanged Woman, the Hanged Man, basically. Again, showing up. And uh, what is the, the most likely action they're going to take towards you next? Ten of Swords. What's your advice? The Four of Swords now. And what's going to be happening between the two of you this month? The King of Wands. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of this deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is talking about the need for balance in all things. Balance in relationship, balance in our lives. Um, so let's see, and maybe, so we could be looking at a situation where there's been imbalance in the past in some way or another, um, or, I mean, this isn't a juggling two of pentacles at all. It's absolutely about equilibrium. Um, so this could have been a relationship that actually threw you off, um, maybe your emotional balance, uh, maybe they, this person kind of. I don't want to say messed you up, but because that, that, that's very, I don't want, that's not contradictory, or crit critical of you, Scorpio, sorry, I mean to say. But I just feel like, you know, when you meet someone and they really throw you off your your game, you know, you start wondering, like, why am I behaving like this? Um, I, I don't normally act like this. And I feel like maybe this person had that effect on you. Um, let's see. Okay, so when we have the Five of Swords here, which is, there have been communication issues or you know games being played with communication um and this is uh, absolutely about drawing a line in the sand this woman is here with um other people who have been uh, either talking to her in a way that is not acceptable or in one way or another that could be the nature of what they're saying or you know 
how they're doing it, you know, deciding to ignore someone for two weeks and then wanting to talk to them every every minute the next day. So it's it's basically drawing a line. I feel like I feel like Scorpio, you're kind of at the point where you're like, I'm done with being messed around. And maybe I was, you know, you did knock me off my balance there for a minute, but you're regaining it now and you're kind of drawing limits. Uh, and yet, sorry, I have to say behind that we have the nine, this, this nine of pentacles, which is about this uh, independent single person, but they're very happy being single. They prefer it that way. They're not really opening, open to sharing um, their abundance, um, really letting anyone in. They really, really like enjoy being, um, it's a very harsh energy. It's like, no, I walk alone kind of energy. Okay, bottom of the deck, interestingly, we have the chariot okay i'm going to i'm going to talk to you about all of these so we've got the chariot temperance and the 8 of cups now the chariot is in this particular case it is a it's a victory but it's at the cost of other people's um ex it's at their expense it can be at the cost of their happiness or they lose something so that you let the person wins kind of thing um but it also speaks of short term it's a short term win now we have temperance here is about healing it's a time of peace and um it is a, a beautiful energy of again regaining emotional composure um healing wounds so and yeah becoming balanced again uh, internally now with the eight of pen the eight of cups sorry here this is about someone who walked away but interestingly if you can see in this particular eight of cups um, they are actually retracing the footsteps in the snow. So this is someone who walked away and is now deciding to turn back and return along the path. So this could be your the person who kind of, uh, I feel, left you feeling like hurt uh, whilst they were, you know, being their enigmatic self and now they might want to return. And I also I'm getting that because how you feel about them. We have the Empress and Judgment. So the Empress, I mean, you feel very loving and, and caring towards them. You may have want to look after them, maybe even to build a beautiful home with them. You may feel very nurturing towards them, like you want to look after them. I just keep hearing, uh, sorry to repeat myself, but the Empress is a beautiful, abundant energy of creation and growth. So you may feel like you want to wanted the connection with them to grow. Um, now, but the, the judgment here, this is decisive, um, a decisive moment. It is also like judgment day kind of vibes of like, um, you. it's kind of looking back and reflecting on everything that's gone down and becoming to some, it can be coming to some sort of real realization about, you know, who this person is and, um, but it's forward movement. Look at the, the like momentum of this angel. This is not someone who realizes something and then just sits there and goes, okay, great, well, now I realize. No, it's someone who then takes action as a result. So now you may be feeling very positive towards them with this empress, or you may feel like you have been very kind and nurturing and understanding, but now you're coming to this point where it's, you know, we're moving forward in one way or another, uh, and it's uh, it's a it's a big decisive moment for you in this connection. Now, how they feel about you, we have the moon and the hierophant. Um, don't worry about this being the card number two of the major arcana. In this particular deck, they've reversed the male and female uh, like classic roles. So they've reversed the high priestess with the priest or the hierophant in this case, but this is the card of the hierophant. So <laughs> after that intro, um, they feel they may feel confused with the moon, emotionally confused, even fearful. Uh, and to be honest, combined with the Hierophant. Now, in this particular card, the Hierophant is more about um, wisdom, gaining wisdom and learning from others. It's almost, you know, the spiritual path, um, the sacred and, and faith. Now, they could be concerned. There might be some sort of element of religion or beliefs traditions involved not necessarily but that could be um playing a part here of what they're concerned about whether they can continue down this path with you um but it also i mean the hierophant can 
traditionally speaks to higher levels of commitment as well. So it could be that they are a bit of a commitment phobe, but it it may just be that with them these two emotional cards as well, and you know about deep, deep inner feelings. Um, I wonder if they're feeling worried about the depth of their emotion or if what they are feeling is real um, or what if they're seeing is real. I mean, I'm also getting the sense of are they projecting or are you projecting something that's not completely honest? And so they feel they're questioning whether they can believe this and they are feeling like they need spiritual guidance on whether to believe you. Gosh, potentially. That was a bit, I hope that made sense. Um, now, how they see you is an interesting combination. I feel like every water sign has got the tower for how the person sees them. So anyway, that's just a side note. The tower is um, Mars energy. It's very destructive and it's change huge change, very shocking. It is about, I mean, it's the tower that was built on uneven ground and comes shockingly crashing down. Um, but it can also be a shocking realisation sometimes or, you know, a dramatic moment, let's just say. But then we have the Ten of Cups and this is, this is beautiful. It's all about great happiness and um, there's no concerns here there's no worries so maybe they see that they had uh only happiness only blissful um connection with you again the way she's uh, kissing his forehead is such like a loving gesture um maybe they see the fact that they had something really good with you where you made them extremely happy you were being very loving and nurturing towards them and it's come crumbling down it's all fallen apart so let's see what happened in the past i mean we have i mean now this could also be that there was it was shocking to them how happy you actually made them and it kind of came out of the blue also i have to say now what happened in the past we have the eight of wands and the king of cups again so this is back and forth communication moving very quickly maybe something that really picked up, you know, really picked up momentum and speed and went from maybe, uh, maybe it just moved fast when you first connected with this person, I want to say, maybe suddenly you were like messaging all the time um, and it was very exciting. Um, now with this King of Cups, this is, again, this is someone really um, enjoying uh, emotion, feeling very, oh, what's the word, like, really expressive and um hearty like a like a big warm spirit that you know is again to someone really um you know you feel drawn to you feel that they're very uh exciting but also it's the fact that they're so um in tune with their emotions it maybe it was refreshing uh, that this person in the past they felt so uh warm and loving or you know very affectionate so that's what was happening in the past. It looks really good now, but the current energy here, we have quite a contrast. The five of ones and the strength. I mean, the five of ones is conflict. It is um, can be arguments or competition, or you know, so it could be other parties being involved. It can be squabbles between friends or families. So, you know, too many people in the mix as well. Um, now the five of ones can also be about training. They are training each other in this this fight. Um, but I feel here it's more a case of um, either arguments or people getting involved in the connection or there being too many people involved. And then we have the strength card, which is, I mean, the thing to note here is that the dragon and the warrior kind of holding the dragon's teeth at bay, they have the same colours of blue and yellow for a reason, because this, um, everything that is inside of us is can be embodied in the dragon or the more you know this kind of chaotic spirit um, of destruction or the more um, peaceful the the side of us that keeps all of that together 
Now, normally I would say with the strength card, it is like um, overcoming the side of us that is very chaotic, that is very um, explosive and destructive and, you know, finding the inner peace and strength to deal with that situation. And paired with this five of wands, I feel like maybe there have either been arguments or blunt words um, or you've had some sort of falling out um, or someone wants to kind of have an argument with the other person really like let them have it and there are the other person is either you know holding themselves together um, really being very stoic like really holding it all in that kind of the side of them that they have that would you know, if they unleashed in response to this um, argument that someone is presenting to them, that, you know, they would all hell would break loose. I feel like there's a sense of someone may, almost wanting to have a conflict, you know, wanting to start an argument and someone, uh, the, the other person doing everything they can to hold it together, to not kind of uh, get involved or not let themselves um, fall into that energy. Right, so the intentions, oh, this is an intense reading, Scorpio, is always for you. Um, so the intentions of your person towards you, Scorpio. So we have the Two of Wands, and then we have this Six of Swords. Now, this particular Six of Swords is literally about letting go. The guy is throwing the last Six of Swords into the water, and the other five are already underneath, and changing direction. It is letting go of um, a set of beliefs or ideas originally held, um, maybe a path that they've been going down a long time or, you know, whatever path they were on when you met them. Um, let, throwing that all away, prepared to go start down a new path. And interestingly, with this two of wands, this is all about crossroads. Um, it can be a, someone who feels pulled in two different directions, but also just someone who is aware that this is a crossroads moment in their life about which direction they go down. But I feel like with this, whatever direction they were going in the past, their intention is to let go of that and go down a new course. Now, whether that is towards you, Scorpio, or elsewhere, well, I'll get some more clarification and we'll see, but this person is definitely changing course. Now, what you need to know about their current situation, <laughs> do you know what I mean about the fire and the water, the, the blues and reds that I was seeing with the first spread? And now here again with this, literal contrast of the fire engulfing the devil the snake skin and the water um, of the waterfall rushing over the hanged woman yeah it's just very interesting um so you could be dealing with a fire sign as i said anyway the current situation that you need to know about your person is that they are dealing with some sort of i want to say toxic habits or toxic yeah kind of path that they've ended up on in behaviors and um, the way they deal with things maybe even the way they deal with people or emotions some sort of vice um and it's it's not healthy it's not they're not going to be able to continue behaving like this or you know they if they do they're not going to end up very happy and it probably hasn't done them much good behaving like this so far but the interesting thing is the current situation of your person i'm I'm happy to see this hanged woman because this is someone who is actually going through training. They are um, going through some sort of, yeah, like, like a, like a quest or like, um, they need to, again, isolate themselves. Like with the hermit that we have here, they need to isolate themselves, do a lot of work on themselves and go through, through some sort of, even if it's tough, they need to go through some sort of metamorphosis um to regain their balance regain their equilibrium again themselves so i feel like your person they might be aware that they have been on a toxic path hence their desire to actually change course um and they are actually going to be going through some sort of journey to i don't know maybe just to resolve those issues i would say now the action that they're most likely going to take towards you next, though, Scorpio, is interesting because the Nine of Cups here is about wish fulfillment, but also um, it's kind of like getting what you want, but not by the the usual um, path. It's not the 
it's not the direct, straight and narrow, like traditional way of doing things. It might involve, again, some, some sneaky behavior or kind of um, not coming towards you in a traditional way, like coming towards you maybe to like get back into your good books um, in one way or another, but not in the way, you know, that you would think, oh, they're trying to get back into my good books. Do you know what I mean? Um, in this particular story, this gentleman wanted to be intimate with this woman, um, but she's like some sort of princess. She's kept, you know, away from any men. So he literally dresses up as a woman um, to be able to be close to her as like one of her you know, court courtiers, is that the word? Um, or courtesans or, you know, help helpers. And then, oh, surprise, I'm actually the gentleman who um, wants to be very intimate with you. And now I can because I've got through past all the guards. Do you know what I mean? It's like being sneaky to get what they want. I mean, it's very happy. It's wish fulfillment. It's romance. But what concerns me is that here then we have the Ten of Swords. So this particular Ten of Swords speaks very much to this person who is betrayed who has been neglected, who has been stabbed in the chest like 10 times and uh, really hurt um, and not cared for, not protected. And it is this woman ignoring it, trying to um, not see what's in front of her. And the reality is the reflection in this mirror, but she's trying very hard to not acknowledge the fact that there has been this, this wrong done to her. Um, perhaps even that there has been some sort of um, painful ending. Again, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the other deck. So, as this is what I find a little bit concerning because I feel like this person wants to get their way and the action they're going to take towards you next, but it's not either they don't want to recognise the pain that they've put you through already, Scorpio, or it's a sense of they're still going to end up it's still going to be a painful ending, which they're going to try and just avoid the responsibility of. To be honest, I'm getting more of a sense that they've already hurt you and they're going to try and not acknowledge it, not look at it and not deal with it and just try and circumvent any need for, you know, like apologies or explanations. Can we skip all of that? Can I just kind of make my way into your bedroom another way, to be blunt? <laughs> um, now, your advice... Scorpio, we have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. So I, I, you know what I said about the Seven of Swords at the beginning. I feel like hearing the advice for me, it's always saying caution. This person is not being completely honest with you. Uh, there is deception going on. They're trying to be sneaky, as we, we saw there. Um, with the Four of Swords, this is a need to not necessarily communicate, to hold back, um, to sleep on your words, to kind of... Uh, maybe take some time to heal as well if you have been hurt by this person before communicating. So I'm going to get one last layer of clarification if there's any other advice, but I definitely feel like you need to uh, act with caution when it comes to this person. If your instinct is telling you that, you know, there could be some sneaky behaviour here, if they kind of threw you off balance in the past, then just be careful uh, if they do come back around, I would say. Um, so what's going to be happening between the two of you this month Scorpio, we have the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. So again, if I don't, haven't said it enough times, you could be dealing with a fire sign. But anyway, so this is... Um, seven of Wands is really against all odds, like putting the work in, um, putting the effort, working very hard and determination. Um, now, it's a lot of passion here with the King of Wands as well. This is um, really going after what they want very determined again um the interestingly with this king of wands he's actually holding up a mirror um to the flames so this could again be someone that you're dealing with they may be holding up a mirror to themselves and really seeing how they've been behaving so far and and maybe as a result wanting to be work you know determinedly to get back into your good books we'll see let me get one more layer of clarification for you, Scorpio. Now, of course, just as a reminder, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio out there. Obviously, I hope it does resonate for you, but if it doesn't, you can always check out your other placements, your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, with my other videos. So, let's 
get one more layer, please, for Scorpio to clarify the top 10 cards. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Interesting. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Scorpio. Okay, so the bottom of this deck, we have the five of wands again. So, as I you've talked about this a lot, but it's essentially conflict, competition, um, could be people fighting over someone or other. Um, let's see. So then we have justice. So this could be, this is the card of Libra, but it could be someone wanting to make things right if there were other parties involved or if there have been, there has been some sort of conflict. Or also it's about balance being restored with knowledge, with the truth, with, um, again, it's that sense of passing judgment fairly and very balanced. Okay, and the four of cups. So this could you could have been dealing with someone who really missed their opportunity with you from how they were behaving um or they uh really they may have rejected you or at some point or just really not been not seen the opportunity in front of them um well let's see at the bottom of the deck we have the four of pentacles interesting so i yeah i feel like this person um to be honest scorpio is realizing that there is so much that you made them very happy maybe even talking to you was making them very happy when you were messaging back and forth or whatever um that there was a lot of happiness for them there and now they're wanting to rush back in and communicate with you but you're holding back you're feeling more vulnerable so let's see what well, clarified how you feel about them was the eight of cups so i do feel like you have a lot of love inside of you for this person um you, a lot of nurturing um energy but you've got to this point where it's like no more there needs to be a decisive moment where we you know we move forward in one way or another um and i feel like with this eight of cups i feel like you may be like it do i am i walking away at this point because i've kind of had enough as much as you and this person with the eight of cups they walk away with a heavy heart they don't want to have to walk away but the eight of cups is not the ten of cups it's not full emotional fulfillment there is something missing and um, when they're it's walking away, when they're feeling that there's something lacking. So, yeah. Now, how they feel about you. We have the Ten of Pentacles again, which I think was there at the beginning of the first messages. So, again, I'm getting the sense that they it's more about their issues with commitment, to be honest. Because as well as the Hierophant now, we have this card about long-term family home you know growing old together loyalty again and having that kind of joint abundance <laughs> you said joint account <laughs> anyway but and that i think scares the shit out of them pardon my language um and they feel confused as what to do what to believe and i feel like they um have a lot to do in terms of um developing their inner wisdom um, because at the moment they're they're acting like a some sort of Lothario, like uh, I don't know, like Casanova. Like there's no, they don't have to take responsibility for their actions, um, and they're quite scared of the concept of any sort of establishment. Well, you know how they see you. We have the magician clarifying this. Now the only thing is, I feel like this is telling me that they see that things have fallen apart with you, Scorpio. But that you, as I already said, that you bring them a lot of happiness. You were very kind and caring towards them. And um, I feel like they want to make that happen again. They may, i sorry to say this, but they may even see that they're, they may be able to manipulate you. Um, to be able to get, again, get back into your good books. They see that they're, they have the... Um, the tools that they need to make something happen with you, even if it's, you know, by a sneaky method. Now, what happened in the past, this, it makes sense, because I was wondering, this all looked so positive. We have this back and forth messaging, probably popped up 
maybe out of nowhere um, and then suddenly it picked up speed it was very exciting this person that you're dealing with Scorpio was so um, affectionate um, in tune with their emotions uh, warm loving um, and fun and then suddenly we have the five of cups so there was some sort of disappointment some sort of being let down something maybe um, it could have even been someone's issues about things that have gone wrong for them in the past with with regards to emotion but I get the sense of suddenly you were disappointed and again with the tower it, it, I think it came as a shock when things suddenly fell apart now yeah the, the current mutual energy is that hanged man as I was saying I feel like someone I feel like the person you're dealing with Scorpio very much wants to you know, well, let's talk about it then. Well, let's, you know, hash it out or whatever. And you're doing everything you can to kind of hold, <laughs> hold back with this Queen of Swords here as well. As I said, she's, she's looking down. She's, you know, you can almost just hear her like, just count to 10, just breathe. Just don't rise, rise to it. That's it. Don't rise to it. Um, and I think that's how you're feeling at the moment. You're holding in everything you could unleash on this person. You're purposefully having this moment in limbo to rather than you know than everything maybe being destroyed completely it could also be the need for this seeing each other's perspectives potentially as well with that hanged man but I get more of the sense that it's like you're purpose purposefully putting the situation on pause right now rather than continue to give to it uh, or even give to like that kind of destructive energy. Now, the their intentions towards you, Scorpio, I have to say, I hope you can see here, but we have the King of Cups across here, we have the Queen of Cups, and between them, I always like to see uh, what's between the two counterparts if they come up like this, we have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. <laughs> so I feel like what is what is blocking the, these two people who clearly have a strong connection, a strong pull towards each other, what's blocking this new beginning in love uh, is some serious communication issues, maybe even some messing around with communication or ghosting or one minute they want to talk to you, the next minute they don't, you know. But their intention is to choose um, to go down a new path, to let go of maybe how they've been behaving in the past, and with this King of Cups, I find that quite reassuring because that is about emotional maturity. Now, I know we had him here already. So again, you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, but otherwise, it could also just be speaking about, because it's, to me, they're quite different, these two King of Cups. This one, you know, the yoga loving smooth talker. And this guy is more, um, he's a little bit more stoic. He's not gushing with his emotions. He feels them very deeply. But he doesn't feel the need to like, hey, how you doing? Let me tell you how amazing you are. Um, I will never do that voice again, I'm sorry. Um, so I feel like their intention, Scorpio, is to actually grow up a little bit as well, um, to get a handle on their emotions better, to go in a new direction of their, maybe even their thought patterns of how they were dealing with emotion or relationships before. Now, what you need to know about the current situation, yeah, this person is aware that they have a lot of stuff they need to work out, a lot of toxicity, a lot of issues, let's just say, and they are needing to go on some sort of quest to learn and to develop themselves, you know, some sort of spiritual journey. And then once they have done that, that's when they're able to have a new beginning in love, which is pure and it's no messing around it's you know it's offered fully um only once they have actually kind of evened out their issues regarding emotion as well hey the action they're most likely going to take towards you next this is why i am I, again i would advise caution because at the moment they i either they just want to get back in your good books. They want to have success without dealing, without addressing what they put you through and the issues that there were with communication and not really talking about how they maybe have ghosted you or messed you around or something. You just be careful because it could also be the action they choose to take is, or plan to take, is to get what they want and then 
it could be to do the same thing again to like walk away and suddenly they're not communicating with you and to not really again address the fact that how they're behaving and what they've done that how they've hurt you so i would definitely recommend caution with this person scorpio and your advice yes you are loving yes you have a lot of emotion and a, you're very caring and you're very deep with how you love but there is some sneaky shenanigans going on this person is not necessarily being completely honest with you or intends to be completely honest um once they've you know or they they're just coming in in a in a, a deceptive way one way or another you may want to hold back on communicating maybe sleep on it that's what i just heard sleep on it if they do come back towards you and get in tune with your feelings on the matter take a time out to think about what you want to do what's going to be happening though i have to say it looks pretty positive for you scorpio so i don't feel like this person is giving up with this seven of wands and uh, it is about collaboration and getting on the same page to work together here with the three of pentacles so i think here in december it seems like you're going to be regaining your balance um, if you felt like you'd lost it um, through through this emotional connection with this person they have some work to do for sure they i feel like are the ones who need to go on like the hermit soul searching journey um and you know you have been dealing with a lot of conflict with this person but i feel like in december it's going to be getting better in terms of them wanting to collaborate wanting to cooperate but i would definitely just trust your instincts scorpio um sleep on it <laughs> if they do come back towards you and yeah that's what i have for you so i really hope you enjoyed the video scorpio and you found it useful obviously please hit the like button that would make me exceptionally happy and leave me a comment if it resonated i love reading your comments and it just really helps for me to get better with um, my readings of course if i know they're resonating or not and um please do hit subscribe i want to get these out as early as i can this december so that later in the month i can also give you a 2021 yearly spread reading because we're nearly at the end of 2020 whoop, whoop. so anyway <laughs> that's enough from me have a lovely december i wish you all my best and thank you so much for watching bye